So what are you gonna do, haters, when I'm here for Christmas? And I'm here for my birthday in May. And I'm here for all these amazing dates. I'm here until I wanna move out. Until I decide I don't wanna live here anymore. Don't be tardy for that mortgage. Oh. What do y'all? This your girl, Saj Craziness. And I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So we got Kim Zoziak and her hubby in their Georgia home that's in floor closure and it's up for auction okay now miss don't be tardy for the party oh i guess she was don't be tardy for that mortgage oh okay and i pray that you have somewhere else to lay your heads at but this was the same one who was saying this on her instagram okay if you guys think I would let my home that we put millions and millions of dollars into go for two hundred fifty-seven thousand dollars, you're an idiot. Okay, for real. So what are you gonna do, haters, when I'm here for Christmas, and I'm here for my birthday in May, and I'm here for all these amazing dates? I'm here until I want to move out, until I decide I don't want to live here anymore. So enjoy the view, haters, because you're gonna be seeing it for quite some time. Now, that was three months ago, back in November. And here we are, about to be in March, okay? So, be careful what be coming out your mouth, people. Be careful what you be putting out in the atmosphere. So, let's go ahead and get into this story. So, it's saying Kim and her hubby, Croy, Georgia home, that they put millions and millions of dollars into, is up for foreclosure. Despite denying the rumors... A notice shared by Fulton County this week claims the massive mansion will be auctioned off on March 7th by Trust Bank. They have a date for it now. According to the statement obtained by People, the couple defaulted on a $1.65 million loan they took out for the home in 2016. What have y'all been doing with y'all money? Because he was on the football team, and then you had, you know, some coinage from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then he had the spinoff, Don't Be Tardy for the pro What was y'all doing? Okay, the couple bought the home in 2012 for $880,000. The news came just a few months after the Don't Be Tardy for the Party slammed haters for saying the Georgia mansion was foreclosed on for a mere 257,000 and that was the video I just let y'all see in here. In fact, the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star claimed she wasn't planning on leaving anytime soon. So Kim and Croy bought the home which also faced foreclosure in 2014 for 880,000 in 2012. The seven bedroom home is now reportedly worth nearly triple that amount. Well, of course, it's going to be more than, <laughs> than what they paid for um, when they purchased the home or put a loan out for it. But, <clears throat> Kim, your karma has been ticking and ticking and ticking, and it's finally at your dough. I'm still on the fact how you treated Sweetie or how Sweetie let you treat her because it, ooh, it, it wasn't no way. It wasn't no way. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below, and I will see you on the next word on the street. Be breezy.